for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Is this real life? Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. First of all, very few people listen to your radio show. That's the good news. Which happens to be true. Check out the ratings. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. And my orders are to weed out all non-hackers who do not pack the gear to serve in my beloved soul. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. I'm going to make him an offer, again. Give me a go, no, go for launch. Do it live! Do it live! I'll write it and we'll do it live! And welcome back to another Tuesday night. Let me get the audio right about where I want it. Tuesday night, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. It's Falcon Core Live. My name is Andrew A. Train Holland. And to my left, the floating head. Let's try let's try this again. I'm Train. That's Chad. Say hi, Chad. What's up, everybody? <laughs> uh, we are live, at least I am live from the new Valken Studio 220 here in Florence, Alabama, just outside of Muscle Shoals. And the floating head of Chad Carter, we have got him testing out Studio 616. So, Valken, of course, this is the highest budget Highest interactive. What else, Chad? I mean, this is... Highest budget. Most biggest East Lab presence oh, in paintball. I absolutely. mean... Absolutely. It's so huge that I had to put the disguise on because the paparazzi just won't leave me alone on the weekend. <laughs> Well, we are splitting it up. We're trying some new things. We're making sure we can broadcast the highest quality show for you from everywhere because we're doing a, the whatever it takes uh, traveling around. Tonight, I want to, on behalf of the staff, we've got, of course, Melissa. Welcome. Uh, myself, A-Train, the Supreme Commander of the Falcon Corps. It's part of my career. I have Falcon Tier. And, of course, my co-host, the floating head of Chad Dolce Carter. The Gosh, you wear a lot of titles, don't you, bud? Uh, yeah, I have a few, you know, Belton Corps Regional Commander for the Midwest, yeah. Co-Captain of Great Lakes Rangers, yeah. uh, you know, Big Papa. What There's else? a few. There's a few. Maybe a one few, day we yeah. should list them all out, you know. and Yeah, sometimes. <clears throat> Co Excellent. Um, so... I uh, would like to thank Melissa and our new assistant, Toby, live from Florence, Alabama. Uh, we encourage you to share this broadcast on social media. It's so easy to share that even Paco can do it. Ooh, that's easy. All you have to do is if you're on your phone, you just hit the little share button. If you're on the screen, you just hit the little share up in the in the bar above the chat, but we are watching live. We are watching your chat. When you share, the goal tonight is 150 live viewers. Once we hit that mark, really easy to do for this show. All it takes a little effort from you. Uh, this is a PG-13 broadcast, so it's actually family friendly. We'll be giving away a Phantom Agility Backpack. How do they get entered tonight, Chad? Tell them how to win the backpack. All right. As it goes a little something like this. Hoot it. Comment below and in 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 interactive live chat and share this on social media. Once we hit the gold number of viewers, we will wait to the end of the show and draw randomly based on the number of comments that were live. Once again, live. The more you interact, the more you have a chance to win. Not uh last week we didn't hit our goal, so no winner winner chicken dinner for this week. But this week we'll hit it, and it's yeah, fun. This is yeah. this is just entertainment for you. Uh, the other thing that I think has been taking on, and we have to watch how we do this, so I'll take the lead. Whatever's in your cup, we play a little, what we'll call a drinking game. You know, please do not drown yourself. That's what we're really concerned about. Uh, and it's been going along, so we're going to continue it one last time just to kick off. It's the end of April, and I think we should do it each month. Um uh, Tonight's word of the night is blast camp. Oh. 
as in like the blast camp in Hobart, Indiana? Yes. All right. So every time it says blast camp, you get up and cheer, yay, or take a drink of your water out of your glass. So let's kick go. this show off. We've got a great studio um, set up here. We've got a great studio at 220. We've got a great studio at 616. We're going to fire up. We're testing out one of Gino's new satellites. Again, this is all for you for the Valken Core. You can sign up for the Valken Core at valkencore.com. That's V-A-L-K-E-N-C-O-R-P-S.com, and you can just hit join. Uh, sign up, and it's that easy. Looks like we've got some crew moving around, and that's perfectly fine. But we are live. We are going to go quick to a commercial. So we're going to jump to this commercial from one of our newest sponsors. Thank you very much. We know that life throws you twists and turns, yet most are not expecting the unexpected. We understand that the sun setting is a part of life. I've got like no Here video. Here at Ryan well, I got homes, video, but... Located conveniently next to the Sonic Drive-In. You can trust the no, I'm process just with us. trying to walk along. Because when you need us most, we want to let you down. Okay. One last time. Open on Sundays featuring a nacho bar. Mmm, love me some nachos. Nachos. Nachos, nachos, nachos. So if when life throws you a knuckleball to the junk, make sure you contact Damian Ryan Funeral Homes. They will always be the last ones to let or to let you down one last time. Uh, yeah. Anything else going? Oh, we got birthdays with Chad. Let's get those out of the yeah, way. We got some birthdays. How about it? All right. Well, hold on. Let me get her fired up. Let me get her fired up. Now you're gonna want to be. Little more vocal, just so we can get it, okay? Because you're coming through on a satellite. You ready? All right. See. All right, Chad. All right. No, Here that's go. not gonna work. Hold on. Hold on. What? What's going on? <sighs> Let's just do the confetti. That's confetti. what we'll do. There you go. Hit him, Chad. Okay, happy birthdays with Chad. Birthdays this week, we have Anthony Medina from the South. We have Kayla Thomas from the Midwest. Andrew Pyle from the Midwest. Wally Bowes from the Midwest. Beast from the Midwest. Tony Obalinski Farfanugan. Tony O from the Midwest. Okay, there we go. Uh, TB from the South, Eric Matthews from the Rockies, Lisa Weber from the Midwest, Brock Gerling, which I just seen was in the chat, happy birthday, Aaron Hawkins from the Midwest, Nick Baracco from the Midwest, and Kevin Eric, <clears throat> Kevin Erickson from the Midwest. That's all I have. Happy birthday, everybody. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, happy birthday to everybody. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Well, again, all you have to do is share. Well, whew, stop the birthday party, Chad. Settle the confetti. Glitter everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, we've, uh, we'd love to celebrate your day with you if we missed you. That's oh. what? Hold on, one more. One more? Happy birthday to Black Camp. Woohoo! Happy did they 30th. Have a birthday, 30th anniversary. They birthday? did. They did. They had their 30th anniversary. Yeah. Um, Blast Camp. Yeah, they had their 30th anniversary at Blast Camp, and that's amazing because that's that's quite a long time. They're like hitting middle age now. So not not quite over the hill, but they say 30s the new 20s. So. Yeah. Outstanding. Well, listen, we're going to do one more commercial, and then we're going to bring our guest on and then jump into some events. Uh, do you have a good weekend, Chad? Did you go out and play? Um, actually, no, but there was a lot of stuff going on. I actually uh, went out. I had to work on the house and uh, went out deep in again. Knocked out a honey-do list, huh? 
Oh yeah. Cool. Also right. want to say, give if you guys can all smash that like button during the commercial for mod. Our mod is back. Our mod was not feeling well last week, and it was a different show. It was in a completely different experience. Chad, correct me if I'm wrong. We've got the best mod in the business. We do. We do. I mean, our show wouldn't be anything without the best mod. Well, and I mean, it'd still be kick-ass and the most awesome show ever, but it's yeah. that's like the icing on the cake. You can have yeah. dry cake. It's kind of like Otter's birthday. Kind of like Audra's birthday. It's just a special time. So, listen, we're going to do a commercial. It's spring is coming, which means in the winter, y'all had a bunch of little babies, and maybe about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, you had a bunch of little babies. They're getting ready to play paintball. This is a great way to introduce kids to the game. It's called Gotcha by Belkin. Check it out. Gotcha. What do you think, Chad? Oh, I love that book, 50 Cal. No, Sorry. you're you're banned from 50 Cal. Wrong answer. No, but I love it. Do you remember what we did last time? And this is why our insurance premiums went up. Everybody that's viewing on the screen via satellite, I know Chad's on the jammy cam, but our guest link has a great ambassador to the game, a great player. And an all-around badass. Falcon oh, athlete, Falcon core Midwest member Paco. Good evening. How are you? Oh, I'm great. Great, great. Beautiful day. The sun's finally out. Yeah? We finally yeah. Uh, got rid of got rid of winter? Yeah, I have not played uh, paintball when it's snowing in the end of May before. Excellent, excellent. Well, welcome to the show again. You're back by popular yeah. demand. Uh, we, we didn't pay for Chad's uh, hotel tonight. He made a concession so we could afford for your appearance. Sweet. Thanks, Chad. Yeah, the park bench is pretty nice out here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the park bench. And yeah, I cut your budget for gummies and got me some uh, pixie sticks. What? I need sugar. Yeah. Paco yeah. on sugar. Yeah. That's the kind of show we bring to you. <laughs> Looks like Gino Postarivo's in the house saying, Paco! James, up, Gino? James uh, Lindsay up, says, hey, Paco. Rabbit from Nova Scotia, Canada West, says, Paco, my boy. So looks like everybody, why would people know you, Paco? Do you have a uh, YouTube channel or nope. you, you, know, you popular on Instagram or something? No idea. Hmm. Nope. No idea. All this... Uh technology stuff i mean this is the first time i ever wore a headset <laughs> uh, gino we are going to get to a news flash uh lawrence wright actually lawrence started paintball two months ago and welcome he's to the sport. yeah welcome to the sport lawrence where he, he's he's going to connect with some friends he's gonna he's gonna maybe start a team but um how did you start out I started out one day just showing up at the local paintball field, and uh, every single day, every weekend, and just playing. Uh, I went with my friends when I was like 15, and didn't go again for almost 10 years later, and none of my friends wanted to go with me, so I just started going by myself. All right. And then, apparently, uh, I got a little aggressive, and... Uh, then I started to have the ref. <laughs> Nobody wanted to play with me no more. Um, but then I got together with uh, a couple of teams that uh, taught me the, the the traveling thing, the scenario world, uh, and I took to it. So you I, really took the scenario. Now, did you? Were you playing open plays and rec plays, big days, tournaments? Anything. I'll play. I would. I'd play. People would invite me to their backyards to play. Uh, 
play the local fields. Uh, I spent, oh, dude, I spent more hours at Sherwood Forest than the squirrels. That's a nice, nice field. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's that's right. That's where I cut my teeth in the woods. Like I said, I grew up in the woods. I mean, I was killing and eating squirrels at a really young age by myself. Uh, just I took to the woods. I mean, that's basically. So to go hunt people seemed like a, a natural transition, huh? People are way easier than most animals. Well, contrary to popular belief, Paco does not actually, when, when he's put truly on the spot, doesn't like to talk about himself. But in the woods, Paco's our guy. He's on my team. <laughs> he has to be any time we're like, eh, what side? He's on my team. Um, Paco's one of the most accomplished woods ball, scenario ball players in the world. And he's a Falcon athlete. And part of the Falcon Corps, a great ambassador of that. You were just out. Where were you? I was at EMR this weekend, uh, playing at the Castle of the Spring Castle Conquest in the new castle. Uh, I haven't done that in was, years. Oh, I've been out there since three years, since uh, the Reservoir Dogs last time out there. Um, I love those guys, so I figured they're going to be back in the castle again. I might as well show up again. Uh, which, they changed a couple of rules on me, I think, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. That's that, that's the way it is. Last time it was it added a little bit more element to the game. So were you attacking uh, or defending? You're at you're at Castle Conquest, which is one of the, um, you know, smash the like button if you've been to EMR or if you oh, want to yeah. go. Uh, oh, yeah. One of the greatest attack and defend games on the planet. Yeah, it's, I I love to attack. I attack. There's something about sitting inside four or five walls that just. I don't know. I'd rather run out of the castle at the attackers than stay in the castle. Nice. So. I think they call it ADD. So anyway, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. yeah. Chad, anything, happens. anything for Paco before we get into events and come on back? Go ahead. <laughs> well, Chad might have to actually listen and watch the show. Yes. Anything for Paco before we go to events? No, no, I'm just watching uh, the chat doing my thing over here. Nice. What's going on in the chat? Uh, they're talking about, you know, Ray Bobbitt. Uh, for Spain's going to be epic. Um, mm -hmm. Deadpool. Uh, Candace says we love Steve. You know, there's a lot. Uh, Gino's got a bunch of skull and crossbones. I don't know what that's for. Yeah. Lawrence. Says, like, Lawrence Wright says he's commanded a 1,200-player 24-hour game there. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that was the video game version. Yeah. I, Did he just start? Started two months ago. New oh, player. Two months ago? New player, New yeah. Player. Great mm -hmm. guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, in, in that little bit of time, I've learned quite a bit from that, man. You, uh, you apply yourself. One day you'll make something of yourself. It'll be great. Yeah. Yeah, one day. And Gino keeps posting that we've got a news flash. We're going to get yeah. to that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going to get to that, but I think there should be a little build up. You will not want to miss this. We've got we got something that we're gonna just drrop. I'm not actually gonna drop my mic because Gino pays for all this. You know, you just don't, we don't throw is money away. Is it bigger than the compound at Blast Camp? <sighs> you said Blast Camp. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah, you got right. it. Yes, it. Uh, I don't. I don't know. It's right up there, though. Listen, we are going to get into events. Paco, why don't you stay on the line? Stay on the line and do it with us. Let me see if we can fire this up. Hopefully, make this work. There we go. We got the music fired up. We're going into events. And first, coming up, Predators Bane Four at Greenwood. Indiana, which is Indianapolis-ish. Uh, the just south of Detroit. Wait, wow. I should probably turn on my mic, <laughs> and then you can hear me when I say Predators Bane Four at Indie Paintball Battleground in Greenwood, Indiana, which is Indianapolis-ish, is happening this weekend. Shoot some Vulcan Paint Center for the Vulcan Corps. That's happening in the Midwest. Get there. I believe they have food trucks. It is going to be a great game. Um, that one we can count on. You've been to that, Paco. You've commanded it. I commanded that game. That was fun. Yep. That's just... Excellent. Yeah, you guys did it together. It's just fun, fun, fun. They got a prison. They got a compound, combat city. The place is nuts. Wonderful people. Uh, also happening this weekend, Viper Wastelands, May 5th through 6th. Uh, happening at Avid Sports Exchange. Stream or Avid Extreme Sports. There you go. In Guthrie, Oklahoma, in the Midwest. 
That's going to be a good one. Vulcan's behind that one. The Chronicles of Spam happening at Sherwood Forest in LaPorte, Indiana. Do you like Spam? Hmm. Hmm. Have fun storming the castle. (laughs) They think they're going to... You can enjoy in all this silliness and shooting other human beings that signed a waiver at Sherwood Forest, and you can choose Valken Paint. They're taking it pre-orders for pre-registrations, which they're going to pick at Farm Fresh. Oh, yeah, get it while it's available and hot. Gluten-free, non-GMO, dolphin safe. Chronicles of Spam also happening in the Midwest. Um, this is labeled wrong because Toby is just getting his email set up here and Bernard is gone. This is not the invasion of Normandy. This is zero hour and zero hour is happening at Capital Combat Zone in Troy, New York, May 4th through the 6th. This is like the biggest mag fed thing on the East Coast that's happening. It's pretty gnarly, so check that one out. Have you ever been to Capital Combat Zone in the Northeast, Paco? Actually, uh, I've been to so many games, I can't even tell you the fields I've been to, honestly. Well, well, I appreciate the honesty. I haven't. And I keep looking at the pictures and going, I would remember if I was there. Hmm. And in Flutuissey, Georgia, buried in a swamp. At low, low country paintball. <laughs> the Goonies. The Goonies. You can go play for the Goonies. I think um, a bunch of uh, the district lieutenants and regional commanders from the south are headed over to low country paintball. Uh, one of the classic fields. Play Billy Smith's place. He's, uh, hopefully they do the Low Country Boil. That was one of the highlights of my trip. Uh, but you can play The Goonies, written by sure. Jester's Productions. COD Safeguard at Carolina Paintball. New field that's coming up in... Where's that bill? Bishopville, South Carolina? Can we get a check on that? Anyway, Carolina Paintball uh, is looking to add a little scenario into their mix. Uh, had some friends check this place out, said it was pretty cool. Chad, we can see you. I know. The paparazzi's going to get you. Wow, do something with that glare. They're going to find out that you're going... Like, uh, Pitbull or Daddy Yankee. <laughs> Makeup. Makeup. Paparazzi's going to end up catching you at Carolina Paintball at COD Safeguard in Bishopville, South Carolina, May 12th. In the Appalachian region, which is a fun region. Uh, also, guys, this is the time where you try to get Chad to lose his snot on yeah. a live broadcast. So he is watching the it's chat. Not rockets. It's not rockets. Life matter. <laughs> so you try to get him to blow snot out of his face. Uh, last oh. last week's winner was Dave Chapalahicolo from the South. Fine, I'll fix the glare, guys. Jeez, oh, Pete. I can take my sunglasses off. <laughs> that's how you do it you make chad change the way he dresses um, you know, like I stand up i got some short silkies on didn't want to know it didn't want to know it just want to get through events and back to our guest living legends 11 is it 11 have we done this 11 times there like 11 rocky movies or something or transformers movies that's happening at hell survivors in pickney michigan May 18th through 20th, you can play with the regional commander of the Midwest, Chad, and the regional commander of the Pacific. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, Callista. Callista, who's also coming in. That's happening in the Midwest. Uh, Also coming up, Battle for the Wastelands up in the Pacific at Sniper's Den Paintball in Oregon, May 23rd through 24th. And this is one that came across my desk today as well. The King of the Hill <laughs> at um, First Strike Paintball in Gainesville, Florida. Uh, I got a call from one of the district lieutenants down there. It says, there's a lot of interest in this game. This is a great field. So this one is, I think, I think we're going to look at our calendar. I don't know what we're doing, but in the south, May 26th. Um, Hold on a second. I think I lost Chad. Can you get Chad back on there? There, Chad's back on. Chad, did we lose you for King of the Hill? 
Ah. Uh, Damn it, Bobby. Yes. Yeah, I had to go buff my head. Gotcha. Keep it together. We got to get through events. Remember, we're professionals. This is a big budget show. Um, also, I would like to tell you about the Plum Life Cash Bash happening June 1st or 2nd through 3rd at the Paintball Club of Choctaw, Oklahoma, with cash payouts of $3,000 and $1,000. But I am not. We are not going to be promoting that event. Um, until Damian Ryan, the owner of the league, comes on the show. Uh, we don't know why yeah. he won't come on the show. It's Paco, do you have any theories? Uh, maybe if we moved it to Sunday. <laughs> no, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, no, that's maybe actually, hold on, let's, let's explore. Let's go down go this down. rabbit hole. Yeah. Do it. Sunday. <laughs> He's not doing much on Sunday. Hmm. I think he should. I think he should plan on Sunday to be here Tuesday. Yeah. I think that's what should happen. But um, looks like we had a question in the chat. Is there anything else going down? I want to bring my kids to the paintball club of Choctaw, Oklahoma. Uh, Man, we'd like to answer that, but we don't have the owner of the Plum Life League on our show. So please go over to uh, Instagram and. Tag him as many times as you feel is necessary. Uh, that's at Bunker Monkey four five six, preferably at like two and three in the morning. Hey, the you know, owner of Blast Camp's on. Blast Camp. That's what I was going to say. I said, you know what we do have is the owner of Blast Camp. You said it again. Stop. We got to get through joking? events. A little bit. Red versus blue at Command Decisions War Game Center in the Appalachian, June 9th. Just a good old scrap fest. Um, Appalachian. Appalachian region is always very hospitable. Also in the Midwest. Uh, oh, by the way, when you're in the Appalachians, go check out Full Scenario Paintball and Mike Johnson. He'll help you get signed up. All the crew from FSP. Uh, shout them out if you're FSP. Damn it. Mod just said it. Hey, Gino hey, says, give him the bad news. I'm going to give him the bad news here in a minute. I got to get through events. June 9th. Jeez. At Blast Camp. Oh, shit. Stop. Mad Max <laughs> by Red Feather Productions uh, in the Midwest. Great up-and-coming writer. Uh, if you're not going to that, you can go for an entire week, June 11th through the 16th, to the world's largest paintball event at Oklahoma D-Day at Oklahoma D-Day Adventure Park in Wyandotte, Oklahoma. Say that 20 times really fast. That's why they hey, came to the... We're about halfway to our uh, goal tonight, so uh, keep sharing. Keep sharing. Do it. Keep sharing. Once, actually, once we hit 100, no matter where we're at in the show, I'm going to drop the news. Um, so that's Oklahoma D-Day. Come. We're going to have uh, days and days and days of play. If you need a team to cook up with, we're going to hook you up with a team. We're going to have tons of fun. I'm trying to work out with Das Buzzer crew. We're going to like ride in a tank. We're going to make the big videos. And it is confirmed there's going to be Andy Potter's meat. That's right. We are going to have a Falcon Core player barbecue. We know what it takes to come out to the events and a lot of money that you invest in. We just want to spend some time with you. We're going to take care of one of your meals, uh, cook for you. Please just come on up by the uh, vendor row. We're the pinnacle of vendor row. Uh, you can stop right there, and Andy Potter will be sharing his sweet, delectable, tender meat lathered in sauce. For all of you. It's the kind of giving man he is. Um, that's going to happen. No, seriously, we want to meet you. We want to hang out. We want to hear your story. Get you signed up for the Falcon Corps. Uh, Cell Team 6, June 10th, 16th through 17th. That's happening at Cousins Paintball in the Northeast. And of course, there's Invasion of Normandy or Skirmish Ion, July 13th through the 15th over in the Northeast. You can come over and hang out. The Falcon Compound will be up there. The Battle for Iwo Jima at Big Indian Paintball, July 28th, 29th in the South. That's actually a pretty cool field. I have been there. AVM Reborn Mount Doom Paintball in Hansville, Alabama. Uh, just down the road from Studio 220 here. Thank you, Gino, for this lovely studio, by the way. You just over and above. Over and above. This is how we give quality broadcasts. Well, that's happening October 5th through 7th in the South, in Hansville, Alabama. 
Might have some uh, friends there. I think Callista's coming in for that. I mean, I might be popping in. I, I stopped by that field. I thought it was pretty cool. And last but certainly not least on this week's events, DEFCON 1. At Blast Camp. At Blast Camp. <sighs> in Hobart, Indiana, in the Midwest, a decommissioned Nike nuclear missile base. Drones in the sky, Paco. Yeah, I love drones in the sky. Boots on the ground, Paco. Boots on the ground are even better. Base to base combat through a missile base for two days. And you have an announcement to make, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. What were you doing today? I was breaking ground on the brand new compound. Woo! Yep. Breaking tomorrow, news. tomorrow the concrete will be poured, and from then it's just upwards and onwards. And that will be ready for DefCon. That's going to be the first time paintballers are going to be able to play the one-for-one -one scale a bada bod Osama bin Laden compound. Correct. Correct. Nice. Yes. We're the, the walls, the con I mean, oh, like I said, I, I just wish everybody could just be there and watch this go up piece by piece. We're building paintball history right here on a piece of history. Ooh, that's yeah. actually kind of cool. Yes. That's actually yeah. kind of cool. You know, we announced it here. Virgil came on. Virgil, the owner of Blast Camp. Oh. <sighs> uh, came on. And announced it on the show, which was very cool. And then social media. And we, we're just glad to be inside the project. So we look forward to seeing everybody out there. That was events, guys. Yay. Hey. Yay. Billy, 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 Billy Frank Connell's in the house. Jiminy Christmas, Frank Connell. I, I need a FedEx, a bucket of donuts, please. All powder. Got them rough. Says, these up. Roll Tide. Hit them hard, homie. Actually, I have heard that down here in our new Studio 220. Everybody runs around and goes, Roll Tide. Now, I don't know what it is, but I like it. Yeah. Roll Tide. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Chad, what happened in the chat? Anything exciting? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff. Someone's had a bat in my cave. Um, there's some... Other ones on here I can't repeat to do FCC regulations. No, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a lot. Of, uh, yeah. Yeah. And we got some good ones. I mean, a lot of people commenting. Um, JW's in here. Nice. Um, of course, uh, the boss man stuff is just blowing it up. The, with, well, uh, the boss man has something he wants to drop, but I think we got to do yeah. one more thing before we drop it. <laughs> Folks, my name is A-Train. I'm the Supreme Commander of the Falcon Corps. Uh, the floating head to my left, your right, is Chad Dolce Carter, the co-host of Falcon Corps, live in the Midwest Regional Commander. And to your far right, my far left, is Paco, one of the greatest scenario woods ball players of the game in, in 30 years. And he won't tell you that, but his peers will. So if you guys have ever played with or or around Paco, um, or been on the receiving end of uh, Paco. Paco, smash Theory. the like button, or tell a story about Paco. It doesn't matter. It can even be the Paco sucks. So we just write it down. Go ahead. I have a question for Paco. Sure. Um, so uh, we got this, or there's an event coming up here in was it late September? Are we uh, are we doing this? Oh, we're doing it. It's 100% on. It's it's we're doing this. All yeah. right. Costumes, All right. everything. All right. So we're uh, there's a game coming up. It's a pirate thing, and Paco and I are teaming up once again to uh, command the side. Nice. Yeah, I well, I will be commanding the scallywag side, the red side. Red, beard, red, red is that the red beard? Nice. Well, fellas, if you'd like to get that event on the show. It's pretty hey. easy. All you have to do is take the Facebook event link. And everybody make note of this. Take the Facebook event link of the event. Message it on Facebook to me or email it to atrain at valken.com. And we'll make sure that it gets up on the show. So, you know, would love to, would love to have it on the show. That's happening when? In September? 
September 29th and 30th. Cool. Yep. We, just, Send. we just put the particulars together today and stuff, so it's not, like, completely out. But, uh, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, we're definitely doing it. This is going to be a fun game. Nice. Very fun. Paco, Paco, I think, what are you, Paco. go ahead, Chad. I was going to say Paco and Dolce round two. Yeah. Go ahead, nope, for sure. Uh, Paco, what yes. have you been doing? What's What's been going on with you and paintball in the last years? Because you used to you used to play some heavy-duty scenarios and on some heavy-duty teams, and, and you've kind of taken a shift in, in the past year or two. Uh, I know with being a Valken athlete, what have you what have you been out there doing? Uh, I've been out there hitting it for the Valken Corps, uh, meeting new people. Uh, actually, learned how to do uh, networking, networking and stuff, and like computers. Uh, just spreading the word about the Valken Corps, uh, hitting up the diamond in the rough fields, the little fields that don't get no, mm-hmm. you know, giant promotion like everybody else does, and right. uh, just you know pushing the game as much as I can, helping people out, uh, trying to build fields. Um, Delivering paint when I had to. Um, actually, I've been doing whatever to, whatever it takes. <laughs> right. Well, I know you've been working hard with our team, the Valken family, uh, to do whatever it takes. Heck yeah. Yeah. Oh, got it. Got all that. Yeah. Um, no, that's cool. And so it's involved a lot of travel, a lot of seeing new places, new fields. What are some of the places and fields you've gone to, events and things? Uh, Gator paintball a couple times. Great field, amazing people, uh, Florida. Um, else? I, I just came from EMR, uh, the Castle, Castle, Castle Course. I met a lot of nice teams out there. Uh, Reservoir Dogs. I played with Greg Hastings, um, okay. which was fun. Uh, you know, hitting both sides of the castle at the same time. Um, of course, the crew. Uh, some new teams we had never met before. Uh, the Heap, Fox's Den, KVM, uh, Chrono 301. Uh, Inglorious Paintball, uh, the Huntsman. Uh, down south, we hit a lot of fields. Uh, like I said, Gator the pa- Gator Paintball and First Strike. Oh, First Strike Paintball. It was an amazing field. And the owner. That place is cool. Oh, he's right up there with Virgil as like from from Blast Camp as uh, being one of the nicest <sighs> people ever. And uh, <sighs> yeah, Blast Camp. Uh, uh, paintball to go. Yep. Uh, oh my God! And. Uh, uh, so you've been you you've been able to travel around and play a bunch of these different fields and be with inside the industry and and get your hands on it and get your hands on the game, which is an opportunity that most people just dream of. Yeah. So when asking to share, like, what are you doing or how are you going? We wanted to add something. I mean, well, actually, most people dream of doing that, correct? Correct. Correct. Like, and I've actually been lucky enough. Uh, Luckily enough to do it, like I said, uh, the last few years of uh, changing a lot of habits, uh, you know, personal interests of mine, the way I am, you know, totally, you know, uh, being more positive uh, was a big thing. Uh, you know, well, hold up, like now I'm going to call you on this. I'm going to call you on this because you're not always positive. I mean, you're just real. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'm a little too real, but uh, no, it's just, I mean, I've been a way happier player. Uh, the Valken Corps and you personally have done a lot of, nah. you know, for that. You know? Well, here's what we'd like to let you know. Paco, we wanted to drag you in front of the world and your friends. I got a call today, and here's what we wanted to let you know. It's confirmed. Um, we didn't give you those opportunities. Folks, uh, you've always heard me say you can't push a rope. <laughs> Am I right? You're right. You're completely right. You can't push a rope. Sometimes you have to grab it and take the opportunity. And if you see it land on the floor, you've got to run with it. Paco is as a whatever it takes mentality, and he had that before he was, you know, friends with Valken Sports and the Valken Core. But he took that rope and he ran with it, and that has helped so many people. I I can I've lost count of the opportunities that you've expanded for other people and, and the advocacy that you've done. Uh, selflessly. So uh, the opportunity for the cover of Paintball Media Magazine came up and through Valken Sports and Paintball Media Magazine, you're going to be on the next cover. What? what? I... Of Paintball Media Magazine. Where's the bleep button? I just, oh, I almost dropped an F-bomb. Just, are you effing serious? Nope, that's serious. <laughs> serious is uh, a heart attack. Gino called today. That's what he's been bugging. Tell him, Gino. 
Are we serious? What the hell? I mean, I, I have to look at my. I'm looking down at my phone. I mean, are you are you effing? We, yeah, we gotta wait for G to confirm it. But wow. Paco is a 100% whatever it takes cannot push a rope player. And so when it came up, um, Gino wanted to make sure that the, the family at Falcon Sports wanted to make sure that that was extended because we couldn't think of anybody better to represent who's in the woods. So well, I'm, 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 I'm just – the first time in my life, I'm actually uh, for loss of words. I just I cool. Just Thanks, Gino. Way Thank, off. Thank Thanks, you, Gino. Gino is probably Thank appropriate. You. Thank you, Gino. <laughs> Thank you, Falcon Sports. Thank you, everybody. I yep. just, I'm just I'm floored. I mean, oh, I mean, how do you top Bud Orr asking you to sign his gun? I, apparently, that just happened. I, I don't I, know. I, We're gonna find new levels. We're gonna oh, find oh. new levels. Hey. Yeah, I, I had better. Paco's at different East Club level. No, he's like up here. Yeah, that was why we wanted to get him on the show before yeah. his numbers went up. Guys, uh, Gino says we picked you for the cover. So, uh, Valken family picked you. The players picked you. Everybody said that's who we want to represent us. So, we salute wow. you. Thank you for being a, such an ambassador. Listen, we're going to let uh, Paco change change into some clean, clean big boy pants. Uh, wow. <laughs> he says I'm wearing them. Okay, and if there was ever a time to go to commercial and kill their mic, that's when we're doing. Folks, you're watching the Falcon Core live. We're going to get wrapped up here in a little bit, but not before we pay the bills. Buy and through Falcon Sports. All nice things are possible. This show is underwritten by the fine folks at Falcon Sports. Whew, i got a lot to say in the coming out. Uh, they, they make quality products for the American working man because that's who they are. And that's what they think about. So here's a little commercial for that. If I can find it in Studio 220, I haven't really pumped up, uh, got the new crew in. So check this out. I want your team and your field to have the tools necessary to win. And I want your refs out here cleaning up the game. And I want your kids and families to shoot products that don't ruin their weekend. No problem, son. I'm A-Train from Falcon Sports. We make quality paintball products for the American working man. Because that's who we are, and that's who we care about. I know the statistics, and I never thought it would happen to me. People like me and you, every day, and no one wants to talk about it. Paintball was supposed to be like tag. I never thought I'd be it. I trusted them. I trusted them. Get him! I was killing! I blame myself. And it was the loneliest walk back. Alone. Yeah, a little commercial and a little public service announcement. Uh, if you need Valken support, Valken help, Valken teching, Valken questions, go to Valken Sports on Facebook, Valken on Instagram, or Valken.com. You can hit the support window and talk to a real human being at Valken. That's how it works. It's pretty easy. We like Belkin. If your field's having that not-so-fresh feeling, things aren't going the right way, and you aren't getting the numbers you expected, give us a call. Our Belkin professionals will help work with your field to complement you, not complicate you. And after that, fellas, did you get a chance to, uh, I know it's kind of somber around here now, did you get to uh, see, the, see the public service announcement? It said, I, while you were away, like and I was at Blast Camp's 30th anniversary Blast Camp, I actually, uh, my number came up. I became a statistic. <laughs> um, one in four. One in four. I was a few times this weekend, too. <laughs> Guys, it really needs to stop. You really got, like, defining your team. 
You got to like take a look and like meet people and know who's on your team. So when you get in the castle or you're just standing there when your wife blasts you from two inches away with her new Vulcan coat. Anyway, I won't go down this rabbit hole. Paco, what do you what do you got coming up? What's new? What's what's happening? What's coming on? I well, basically, I'm going to continue to play. I'm going to continue to support my local fields. I'm going to continue to do whatever it takes for all the players, for Vulcan Sports, for the Vulcan Core. Um, I'm joining another game, like I said, it's a real fun game. But uh, I'm just going to continue to do what I do. Go where you. You know, go where you guys go and go where the players are. And I'm going to hit more small fields that don't get the recognition, like I said. And I'm going to start dragging more first-time players for traveling events. I have an RV for a reason. So, I mean, awesome. I'm going to I'm gonna yeah. pull people in with me and I'll get people, you know, get them folder gap cup cards punched Ugh. and uh, stuff like that. You know, I mean, bringing more people into the game. You know, more good people into the game is actually is what I should say. Right. You know? We no. had a talk. We had a talk. I was on a podcast last week. Those are all great things, but I'm going to put you in the Wayback Machine. So I was on a podcast last week, and it was supposed to be this, like, bloody knuckle. Uh, I was going against TV, right, on the world of TV, paintball unfiltered on Blog Talk Radio. That was a great one. Yeah, because I was like, oh, I learned so much. <laughs> Afterwards, he was like, man, I didn't even know that. So we were kind of going back and forth. We're going to reopen it, but I think um, happy birthday, World of TV, Unfiltered Paintball, um, this week. But next week, we're going to pick it up, and we're going to kind of structure it a little better so we can get more information in. You learned a lot, that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. But one of the things we're, we went down was we went down um, – uh, a rabbit hole. We don't go down here, but we go on Thursday nights, which is the real mill simmy stuff, like the real scenario -y stuff. And I was coming in, but you had played some of that. So my kind of running question lately, because I've been on this, because I take this information, what I learned from you guys, and, and kind of process that I want everybody's opinion, and I'll bring it back to my own opinion. How many levels of scenario are there? You're looking at at least probably three. Okay. Um, the tier that's missing is the one that uh, I I love being in the most. You know, the, that top tier of the... Uh, not everybody has fun in the top tier. Uh, we're not there to do foo-foo. You know, let's all do the uh, Macarena or, you know, boogity 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 right. runaway um, kind of hardcore play. You know, you, you have your... Your big games where everybody wants to have fun and everybody wants to do the, this stuff. So that's you know, the, tier one. That's your tier one. Uh, tier two is what mostly, I think, mostly everybody plays nowadays. You get you get your newbies mixed in with your used-to-be top-tier players, and your top-tier players play the way they played in the top tier years ago. And Was it, was like it really... How different was it? It was way different. Way different. I mean, it, it almost seems like they dumbed down the sport some, you know, some bit. But I mean, you don't get the 24-hour games. Uh, okay. You don't get, you know, you don't you get the people that play hardcore all night, or the people that just do it. You know, I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that people screwing around with the, the the points to keep it fair to everybody and. Uh, that it's just when when everybody has to have a fun time and everything has to be fair, the people that work the hardest are the ones that get beat back the most because I want to be aggressive and I don't I want to I want to drop your base two minutes into the game, and the next time I want to do it in one. Right. Uh, I want I want I want to do that. I mean, but you almost can't. Did you do get that your time. selfie with Will? Uh, we had a lot of camera and charging issues and stuff. Oh I had God. I had some good photos, but I, d I didn't have my tech guy. Can somebody so, out there get a damn selfie with Will from Valken? Is that why is this hard? I I could have got one probably because I mean I I played hard enough to get it and uh, yeah you know, you know I I had to get really close. I had a I got a, I got a couple of good shots of uh. Of everybody, if my cards would have been formatted, but 
It's hey, like I, it's like the world is against us just trying to get a damn selfie with Will. Yeah. So not to derail you for no pun intended, but to say, yeah, it was different. That's what I want to go down. And I'm, and I'm searching different places to find out. Do you ever think it will come back again? What, all right, I'll, I'll throw this one out there just right there. It would take somebody, it would take somebody like TB to write it. Okay, but uh, then they're saying we won't go on to this here. We'll we, have to go we over to his to show. Here, to, no, no, but we can go over to his show to check the rest of it out. But it's a good discussion, especially around the campfire. Um, you can even put it in the chat. You know, you or guys, what field. do you think? Or a so, but it's going to take the here. field, the producer, the promoter, the the vendors. It's going to take a lot of pieces a to lot. bring it back. But do you think it's yep. possible? Yes. Okay, yes. great. We're going to do the Fast Five with you, Paco. Are you ready? Yes. All right, Fast Five. Favorite field? Favorite fields? Blast Camp, right. Fort Hello. Knox. Yeah. Uh, go, go, go. Course. Go, go, Fast Five. Uh, go. Paintball to go. And, oh, first strike. Okay, favorite paintball? Graffiti. Favorite marker? Ooh. Auto cocker. First marker. Auto cocker. <laughs> Spoiled brat. Favorite pro team. Auto cocker. Auto cocker. Favorite pro team. I don't. Uh, I don't. I thought you said pro uh, team. Well, pro, I know. Uh, I bet Infamous is the only one I know. I guess I don't. <laughs> the only one you know. <laughs> uh, so you're really like a true woods ball scenario purist. Yeah, I know how to shoot. I don't, I don't do. I mean, a lot of people are like, "Oh, I've been in paintball for 20 years. I know everything." I know how to shoot. I don't know the teams. I a lot of markers. I can't tell you what internals are in my gun, what boards in my gun, how what the output pressure of my tank is. I have 12 guns. I don't even know how to program. And sometimes that's all you need, folks, is just to remember that Paco goes out there and gets the experiences and opportunities and creates them. Just because he's having fun. He's just going out and doing what he knows, not pretending to do what he doesn't know, and he's he's always pretty cool. So what's your favorite pro team? I, Infamous is the only one I know. Just be true to yourself. People appreciate that more. Since <laughs> <laughs> favorite protein. Protein? Oh, yeah. What's your favorite protein? There you go. Anything with a pulse. Okay. That I've Do you seen. have a favorite? Hmm. Well, there's so many different ones. You got your deer. You got your s steak. There you go. Boom. Oh, yeah. See? Blanket. Yeah. Got field, field you haven't been to that you want to go to? Mm, D-Day. And that ties to. into event yes. that you haven't been to that you want to go to? D-Day. Okay. That's your Fast Five with... Paco, we're going to cut to commercial, come right back, kick out with Paco. Whew. Here at Valken, they do whatever it takes for their players. Check this out. Really? You do that? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Joe, from Valken. And at 3 o'clock in the morning? Whoa. Give me this. Hello? Who is this? Uh, Joe with Valken. What are you wearing, Joe from Valken? Hoodie and shorts? She sounds hideous. Well, he's a guy, so... Wow, a nice little commercial from Valken Sports right there, fellas. So, pa Paco, what a nice day you've had. It's Paco Day. Yay. <laughs> it is. All right. <laughs> Hashtag I know Paco. Hashtag I know Paco. Great. Paco, anything else you want to tell the adoring public? Not really. Just, you know, play hard, play fair, and um, travel. How new do they travel? How do they get new experiences? Valken Core. Check out the Valken Core. Sign up for the Valken Core. It were, I mean, I could do it. I did it. I mean, that goes to prove that it's easy. I mean, I mean, just do it. Like I said, network, connect with people. You know, people are what grow the sport. 
uh, all those little grow the sport things don't grow the, the sport as much as actually communicating with people, doing so, things. So how – we're going to show you how easy this is. How do they sign up for the Valken Core? Valkencore.com. Boom. Just go there and sign up and it does the rest. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you can find out where Paco and the Deplorables, that's your team, right? Yep. Cool. Yep. Uh, the Deplorables and all your friends, the Great Lakes Rangers, Knuckleheads, Failings. I mean, we go down the list. Um, oh, by the way, those teams are sponsored by Blast Camp. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we can connect with more people and find more Paco events. Jack- <laughs> all up Mountain Dew. Hey, you got to watch what you say when brand names. I mean, Damian Ryan Funeral Homes will pay their check, but uh, Pepsi Cola has not. So we got to watch how we brand that, Chad. You know better. It's going to come out of your big e celeb salary. Guys, thank you for being a big part of what we do. Paco, we'll see you on the field. Congratulations. And when we get back from NXL Dallas, uh, this weekend, which is also happening on, guys, make sure to follow along on Valken Sports of Social Media, Valken on Instagram, Valken Sports on Facebook, Valken Video on YouTube. We're going to be going live from a lot of the divisional play. You'll be able to catch all your updates and follow all your favorite Valken Pro teams. Uh, you can also follow Valken Core and share your events and pictures and all that media from the weekends over on Valken Core on Instagram, Valken Core on Facebook. And, of course, they share YouTube with Valken Sports. Uh, that's a social media aspect of it. We do this every Tuesday night at 9 o'clock. It's for you. It's pretty commercial free. We just make fun of Chad and dress him in cheetah pajamas because he didn't read the small print on his contract. Yeah, man. <laughs> now that you're getting on the cover of that magazine, Paco, make sure you know when you're getting your East Celeb contract, hmm. check nah. the fine print. Cool. Check the fine print. Yeah. Well, Paco, we're we're at, at this time, we're going to bid you adieu here live from Studio 220. We're going to punch out and finish off the show. We'll be in touch with you soon, brother. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Valken Sports. Thank you, Valken Core. Thanks to all the players. Thank you, Gino. Uh, I'm still dumbfounded. So, like I said, thank you, guys. Thank you for everything. Cool. You're the best, Paco. You're the best. See you, buddy. See ya. Man, that's so cool to have him on the show, isn't it, Chad? Yeah. Nice, nice. He's a good friend of us. Our show just went just like that tonight. Boom. Boom right by. Well, we're trying out some new things again. Gino's got the new satellite. He gave us these new offices, so everything's cool. And we got to do the whatever it takes on behalf of myself and Chad Carter and the staff here at Valken Core Live. Melissa and Toby, welcome to the crew. He didn't completely screw up tonight. No. No, he made it. Actually, Toby went through the day one, week one. So, yeah, not, bad. not too shabby. Whew, what a show. We'll have to go back and check the analytics. If we had a winner, we will announce them next week. So make sure to tune in. Thank you for being a big part of this little thing that we do for you. And in the Valken Core, we, we just enjoy it. Uh, we're going to be out at fields and, and events. Again, if you want your events listed in the Valken Core uh, live program, we'd be happy to. Just send them into A Train at Valken.com. Or send them to one of your regional commanders or district lieutenants. You can find. Oh, let me see. Oh. Uh, what? Well, is. Will you check the chat? Will, Will is talking. I don't, I don't check the chat. That's not my job. All right. Will is saying Paco got, hand, got handed to him at EMR, but I will say he was the only one who ever tried over and over to come up the ramp. Correct. I'd take him, he'd take, he says he'd take him on his team any day. That kid has heart. So he does. Paco Paco does, well, he doesn't have, he has tons of heart, but he doesn't have a lot of quit in him either. No, no. Which is good. A a lot of Ralph and Rally. Which also means if he's on your side, you have to patch him up. Um, Another way to connect with the Facebook, with the Valken Corps is through the Facebook regional pages. So you can find your region over on ValkenCorps.com, find your regional page, get connected, and actually just start talking to players in your area. All of this stuff is brought to you by Valken Sports, Valken Corps. 
that's what it's for. And next month, we're going to have a new special word. So this month's yes. tears to April, it was Blast Camp. After Blast Camp? Yeah, no, it's a new month. We'll have to have a new one. So, Chad. What? I think we need to bring them out the same way we brought them in, brother. Heck yeah, let's do this. Are you ready? I'm Warm ready. it up. Everybody get ready. Warm it up. Ooh, ooh. Warm it up. Make sure everybody smash that like button for Mod. Mod was on fire tonight. Was he not on fire? <sighs> that Mod is on fire. Mm -mm. We got that Mod life. Mod was killing it. Here we go. Right. Until next time, V's up. What's up? Target down. Target down. Whatever, Whatever it takes. It takes. All right, and then we'll do it live.